Boys, I have seen the comments and I've even read the comments. Ever since I bought my Golf R, I've been trying to make that at, at a passable point where I don't need to like look at the car and be like, wow, that needs modding. So the, the, the little old Civic over here has definitely uh, big neglected. You can see it's been a storage pit. And actually the other day I cleaned out all my old tools from it. Came to the realization myself after reading all the comments, I really miss this car and I want to drive this car and the focus is now going back to my Civic. What is going on guys? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. As I just said, I miss my Civic, my Civic dearly. And I haven't driven this car in a long time. And since I left for Florida and came back, well, I haven't even touched the car. And there's a couple things that I need to do. One, we need a new distributor again. The MUSA one I have, well, it, I think that is causing my fluctuating idle. And that's no bueno. So to get the get the car drivable, we need to get a new distributor. But while I wait for that, there's some other things we need to get done. Now it ended up kind of hiding underneath the car, but this car does have an exhaust. It's a spec D exhaust, I'm assuming. I don't even know what brand it is. But today we really do need to remove it because I'm gonna be getting a whole new exhaust for this car. And this one sounds terrible. It's not connected to anything right now. And the second thing that I'm actually pretty excited for is I need to fab something me make something myself one of the issues with having this old hunk of junk right here is some bolts have snapped and we've lost some things along the way and one of those things is my rad support it's kind of just floating here and i'm going to make a bracket to actually connect it even though this is like jammed up but we need to make we need to make some sort of bracket having it just float around there doesn't seem safe so that's something we're gonna get done so i think we're gonna do the exhaust first and then we're gonna try making our bracket It's connected by one hanger all the way in the center. So I have to look the front of the car to get that one out, but we can get the muffler out first. The two best tools for moving exhaust hangers, punch, flathead screwdriver. Get that to start the hole, put that in there. You can twist them right out and it's super easy to do it that way. really do love how this thing looks with like the end one style tip but this thing sounds like trash and it's not going to work anymore for us another solid option to get rid of hangers and take them off it's just cutting them because i just kind of realized that these hangers are completely trashed anyways because they're all dry rotted because the car is 20 years old so we're just going to cut the last hanger off to get the rest of the exhaust out because when i get new exhaust i'm going to get new hangers for it Thank you. 
exhaust out. That only took a lot longer than I expected it to because I don't know why, rust is annoying. So the next thing we're gonna try doing is tackling my bracket. Now the first thing we do is my favorite thing to do, drill out the broken bolts. So what I bought to make the bracket was this stuff. It's 16 gauge zinc bar. And it's got circles already in here, so hopefully it just fits around the rat support thing now. So hopefully this is perfect. So I'm gonna have to make this a little bit bigger, it looks like, which I did buy more bits to do that. But essentially what I'm just gonna do is snip this to side, bolt it down to the rad support, and then have it hooked onto the radiator and it'll make it secure. Now, I don't have metal working tools or anything. So, like that Christmas tree bit, cut it to the perfect size. And these snips say they're good for 16 gauge non-ferrous metals. Zinc is non-ferrous, so I'm hoping this works. But like at the same time, it's cutting. It, it just, it just gonna take a lot. I, I figured this was gonna be a struggle. I really, I really did. <laughs> if I try using my massive leg strength to cut it. Holy shit, this, is, this stuff isn't easy to cut. It's like we're making like slight progress and like notches out of it. This ain't easy though. For future reference, I should definitely buy a cutoff wheel to do stuff like this. Who needs fancy metal cutting tools when you got these muscles, man? And I also don't have sandpaper or metal thing, so I'm just gonna try to shave this down a little bit on the on the concrete just to smoothen the edges a bit. And this this should this should be fine. So the idea is put this on, bring it down here. So I might have to bend it a little bit, but I think we'll be able to do that just fine. So now I just need to find a bolt that's gonna fit through this little hole. For anyone who works on cars or wants to work on cars, always keep spare nuts and bolts. I think I found a good, a good match of stuff to get this holding properly. I just have to make sure it goes all the way through. Just gotta bolt her in and then that's pretty much it. I have all of these neighbors, right, with these cool ass sounding cars, but I don't know any of them, and I don't know any of their cars. They just sound cool. Like this one got a crazy popcorn tune on, keeps going up and down the street. But like, I've never seen this car before, so I don't even know what kind of car it is. Going through a slight issue right now of the broken bolt actually is still like halfway in there, and I didn't get it all the way out. So I gotta try to figure out a way to like cut it out almost so we can fit our new bolt in there. And I hope I didn't lose the nut, and I might have. But we're gonna, we're gonna try to get this. Remember guys, I'm a trained professional. She's a stubborn bolt, she broke my damn drill bit. This is one of those moments that pay off to have a friend. So I got the end of the bolt off, but now I just need to like hold this down and screw this at the same time. And we should be able to get it. But if I had someone holding this down, it'd be, it'd be great amounts of help. Think we got it on. Is it pretty? Well, I'd say that's subjective. It may not be the prettiest looking thing in the world, but I made it and it does a purpose and it makes it so my radiator doesn't move anymore because the radiator was, was doing some mad wiggles before. Now it's actually pretty solid. So it served its purpose, it, we, made, we made this. Our first fab project. So the last few issues of the Civic should actually be coming to an end here, and I need my tripod. What I mean by that is the last few issues should be 
pretty much on their way out. All my codes are pretty much referring to my distributor, so I will be ordering a better quality one. Right now I have an MUSA one and a lot of reviews saying it doesn't have the sensors in there that it's needed to actually make the Civic run properly. So that could be giving me my surging issue. So we're gonna be getting a new distributor soon. I'm gonna be getting another ECU because I found out that the engine actually is OBD D2, not one. So putting a different ECU in there might actually clear up some issues and we can just clear some things and hopefully make it run better overall. But those two things really should be clearing up a lot of things. Hopefully, hopefully soon we're gonna be driving on the road. I just need to get some inspection stickers for it, legally of course. And then we'll be <laughs> ripping down the roads in no time. I've been saying that since last year now I feel like, but I'm really trying to put all my focus back in this car again because I do miss driving it. I love my Golf R right here. I think this car is amazing. But the parts are so damn expensive for it, it's hard to like rip around on it without the fear of breaking things. I need a new clutch for it and that's gonna cost me about two grand. That's an expensive ass clutch. So with that being said, the Civic is on full, like full focus again. And I'm really excited to start this project up again. Um, I, I think we're really close. Again, I've been saying that, but I've been doing my research. So the last thing I think we need to do is distributor. We need to get like, uh, like two more sensors. I just took this O2 sensor off of the old exhaust because the other one couldn't reach. So that's another code that's gonna be fixed up soon. So all my codes are actually coming to an end, which is exciting. So I hope you guys like my little fab project and I'm gonna leave you guys off here. Thank you for supporting. Guys, I wanna hit two grand, two grand, 2,000 subscribers by the end of like this month, I think. I think we can do it. We need 700 more. We can do that though. So please share my videos. Please comment, like, subscribe. Keep doing the fun stuff, guys. But I'm leaving you guys up here, so I'm going to say all that stuff I just said again. So comment, like, subscribe, keep doing all the fun stuff. Keep doing new. Stay motivated, boys. I'll catch you next time. Peace out and peace.